All right, Shalom Akim. I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rucha Kodash. I like to double announce the apostles, and those of great Milson and Rubel, and peace and salutation to the Akim around the world that push the truth in sincerity. I'll entitle, I'll entitle this video um, Many are desired to see what you see, right? Because we know that the prophets of old. We have gotten the vision for these they were taught to write these scriptures down but they didn't comprehend what they didn't mean right it say on say Matthew 30 on self from 10 right it say and the disciples came and said unto him why speakest thou unto them in parables it say he answered and said unto them because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but to them it is not given right so it was given for some to understand and it wasn't given for some to understand that's one of the reasons why the Bible is written in parables and the same way <laughs> the same way they couldn't understand it back then is the same way they can't understand it now unless the spirit be with them right they say he ans right not given they say for whosoever had well I'll go to 13 right it say therefore speak I to them in parables because they see this they seeing see not and hearing hear not neither do they understand and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah which say it by hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand and seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive See, for this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest they at any see less at any times like they shall see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and shall understand with their hearts, and shall be converted, and they shall be healed, because if they see and comprehend, they will be healed. And they will have a chance of salvation. And we know two thirds of Israel is ordained to be destroyed. You know, in the last day, so it's that is what one reason why it's not given unto them. It's not ordained unto them for that particular reason. Alright? Above others. It says, But blessed are your eyes, for ye see, and your ears, for they hear. That is why if if you actually be able to comprehend these things, you're supposed to say, you know, Barakata Yaw Basham Yaushai Tawada because even prophets back in the days the desire to see these things and to understand these things and didn't. Right? You see, for verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them. And to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. And you'll see many examples of that all over the scriptures. Because that many men who actually the spirit did, did move them to write the scriptures, but they didn't understand what it meant. Like most of the visions you'll see that men had. Alright, is Daniel eight? I'll start from I'll start from twenty six. Right, is a good example. You see, and the vision of the even of the evening and the morning, which was told, is true. You see, wherefore, shut thou up the vision, for it shall be. Many days, right? So, this this vision he did see, all of it didn't come pass yet. Every time of Daniel, think um, every time of Daniel, he only get a he only get a see like 
like two of the beasts I, 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 if he did actually understand who those two beasts was because the thing that the time of Daniel when he did die was around the Persian Empire the Medes of the Persians one of them so you only get to see up to what is second and he still didn't understand he still didn't understand by actually seeing it or even understanding the parables of the um the parables of the vision itself see verse 27 they say and I Daniel fainted and was sick certain days so look here afterwards I rose up and did the king's business and was astonished at the vision but none understood it you understand so he said the name understand he own vision even though his spirit had moved him at the point in time to be able to to document it for us in the future to understand it at that time he didn't understand it because it wasn't it was not at a point in time yet right It's here, Daniel. The Daniel 12 was 4, right? It say, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. It says, Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. We see how it say, Until the time of the end. And that is prophecy actually being fulfilled that we now in these latter times understand in these prophecies because we come in, in that time of the end. Is at the door. It's really at the door. But it wasn't ordained for them at that time to be able to understand it. It's like what the scriptures say, or I read just now. That is what Matthew 13 17 is saying, For very say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things that you see and have not seen them. And to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. Because that many prophets who wrote scriptures back then, they didn't understand the, the meaning behind those parables. So there are one or two, only one or two, just a, like a handful who actually ever get to, who actually ever get to understand in a more, in a more high depth about about what was, what was going on take place like a like moses for example moses got to see the vision at the end so he actually got to see how it would have happened or esdras esdras got like you know a deep a deep breakdown of the different parables but many of them didn't what are looking for Ephesians 3 3 to our Ephesians 3 verse 3 it say how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as I wrote a four in few words right he made known unto me the mystery it say whereby when ye read ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Mashiach right because we know it's true the crucifixion of Mashiach so you know everything opened up to us now back in those days it wasn't open up to us but now it is. It say which in other ages was not made known unto the, unto the sons of men. Right? It wasn't ordained for them at that time. As it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. You understand? It's as scripture says a time for everything and everything a season. And even now in these times that it being revealed, it being revealed unto Holy apostles and prophets, the election, you understand? The one who act the most, I actually ordained to understand these things. Like I read now, we say, even in another ones in other scriptures, so it's Romans 11, verse 11, 7. They said, Then Israel had not obtained that which it seek it for, right? They say, but the election had obtained it and the rest were blinded so even though the, the information being made available through the spirit now if the spirit now working with you you still wouldn't understand what it mean 
you you continue to remain blind if it, if the spirit of the most high now with you to be able to comprehend these things you see according as it is written just as you read just now it was written in the prophet isaiah so god had given them the spirit of slumber eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day so all these things pertain to prophecy so everything has a time and a season and everything must be fulfilled but at the same time you still have to be thankful that you're actually going to see these things even though as the scriptures say you know with much wisdom comes much grief it does better to know and to fix or work on and to not know because these two tutors who live in blissfully who don't understand these things they grieve in every day because they live in a wicked society and they're receiving judgment fate and they don't have that chance that the men of the Lord have to actually be redeemed to actually seek salvation in the last times I always said I said to water barakata you know I want to give all praises and glory to our basham the apostles and the great millstone as well and peace and salvation to the Akimurang world I wish you shoot in sincerity. This is Rabba from Internet Camp saying Shalom.